Careful. You alright? You good? What's going on guys? Sam here from Powell Lacrosse with the Powell String Team. Today we're going to be talking about shooting strings. So first thing, right off the bat, I have not had thrown with this stick. I know nothing about it, but I know from my personal experiences that I would not really prefer this shooting string setup. Generally, what I've always gone with is, you know, a heavy top nylon and a shooting string right underneath it. Um, the reason why I've, I've chosen to go with that setup is for me, it's, it's the one setup that's always given me the most amount of feel. Um, and when I'm talking about feel, I'm talking about what it feels like when that ball is released from our pockets. Um, every time a, a ball rolls over one of these shooting strings, it causes a vibration, and that vibration can be felt in our hands through our handle. Um, so so the, the simplest way that I've found to get the best kind of feel is to put a heavy top nylon, skip a row, and then one shooting string right underneath it. And, we, and I've done it in this Pioneer. You know, the, the shooting string kind of softens the blow from this heavy top nylon. My top nylon is always pretty much as tight as I can get it without deflecting the head. And then one shooting string under, underneath it. So this shooting string is gonna kind of soften and muffle the blow. When it hits this heavy top nylon, it's gonna rock it right out of my, out of my pocket at the same time giving me the most amount of feedback to my hands so I can time my release point, whether I'm shooting or trying to make an over if I'm playing defense or if I'm trying to feed a pass into my you know, crease attackman, I'm gonna get the most amount of feel. So play around with shooting string setups and we'll catch you guys next time. The fast, slow, but I can only hope that I wouldn't be back.